I have an interesting task for you to start off this lesson. Name all of the days of the week that contain the letter G. Think about it for a while. I'll wait for you. Think about all the days of the week. Now use English language, okay? No other language. In the English language, you're probably going to be stumped because guess what? There are none. It's impossible. I gave you an impossible task. What we can say in this case, we can either say no solution but there's actually a symbol we, we use oftentimes in algebra class that looks like this. It's a circle with a slash through it. And this actually represents what's called the empty set. Meaning, it's impossible. Okay, there, there is no such answer that exists. Okay, well today we're going to look at some equations that are impossible to solve. And we'll, we'll go over um, exactly what I want you to do in these cases. And just letting you know, um, at the end of this video, there is going to be three questions for you to try on your own that will be graded. So make sure uh, you watch this all the way through to the end um, for those three questions. So here is an example right off the bat. This equation looks innocent en enough. It's an equation I'm sure you, you know how to tackle it. Let's go ahead and uh, jump into this. Solve this equation. Uh, I do have two linear terms on the right hand side of the equal sign. This 2x plus 2x will add up to 4x. But there's nothing to combine on the left hand side of the equal sign. 4x plus 7 is going to remain the same. And then just like we've learned in earlier lessons, we need to balance this equation, meaning we're going to make the linear term on the right hand side of this equation, we're going to subtract it away, make it vanish, but then watch what happens. When I subtract the 4x from the right-hand side of my equation, whoops, the 4x also vanishes from the left-hand side of this equation. Now that's very odd. That doesn't happen too often. It's kind of a unique circumstance. But what do we do in this case? Okay, well, first off, I can keep writing this out. You know, I'm left with a 7 is equal to a 9. But my x term has, has disappeared, okay? This is just an odd circumstance. Um, you could keep working to reduce this even further, but at this point, if all of your, if your linear terms all cancel each other out and vanish, here's what, I'm, here's what you're going to do. You're going to look at this statement that remains, and you're going to decide if this is a true statement or a false statement, okay? 7 does not equal 9. This is a false statement. And when this happens, anytime you're trying to solve an equation, it means there's no solution. Okay, we're going to write the empty set note, notation. You could also write no solution if, if you prefer. This is an equation that has no answer. There is no number you can plug in for x that would make this equation true. All right, let's, fast, let's go to example number two. So example number two is going to look kind of similar. Um, let's start by distributing our four. on the left hand side and over on the right hand side we have a 6 to distribute and then there's a 40 and a 20 that you can combine the like terms okay those constant terms can be added together and you'll notice when we go to balance this equation we're going to subtract the 12x away from the right to make it vanish and then almost accidentally whoops we subtract the 12x away from the left and it also vanishes. Now if you look at what we're left with here, we're left with that a 60 is equal to 60. And listen, I realize you could actually subtract 60 from both sides if you wanted to. I'll just do this real quick. Some students take it a step further. They subtract 60 from both sides and you're actually left with 0 equals 0. So whether you stop at 60 equals 60, or 0 equals 0. It doesn't matter. In this case, we're going to take this statement that's left and decide if it's true or false. In this case, it's actually true. 60 does equal 60, or 0 does equal 0. These equations are actually, every number in the world makes these equations true. We're going to write all real numbers, or you can use, there's an abbreviation for all real numbers. It looks like an R but it has like a double stem to it, like this. 
these equations are actually impossible to get wrong. You can plug any number in the world in for x, and this equation would be true. If you don't believe me, try it. Try plugging like a 5 in for x here on both sides, and both sides would come out equal to each other. Try plugging in um, 600 in for x, and it would work. You could plug in 5 billion in for x, and it, this equation would work. Any number, any real number in the world is going to make this equation true. All right, now our last scenario is a little bit different. Our last scenario, um, let me put a 1 here in front of this x. In our last scenario, uh, if we combine these linear terms on the left-hand side, 10x minus 1x is 9x. And our right-hand side, there's nothing to combine. In our last scenario, our linear terms, I go to subtract 8x away from the right-hand side to make it vanish. And I subtract it from the left-hand side, and I'm left with a 1x. So nothing out of the ordinary there. But watch what happens with my constant terms. In this last example, I subtract my 8 away from the left to make the constant term vanish from the left. And it also accidentally makes the constant term vanish from the right. Now in this case, we can go ahead and write a 0. We can say 8 minus 8 is equal to 0. And believe it or not, this equation is still solvable. As long as my linear term still exists, which it does here, this equation is still solvable. So this equation actually does have a solution. There's only one solution that it has, and that solution is 0. 0 is the only number that you can plug in for x here that will make this equation true. So this equation is solvable. It does have a solution. The solution is 0. Okay, so with that in mind, the video at this point is going to ask you to, to try three of these on your own. One of them will have no solutions. One will have all real numbers, infinitely many solutions. And one of them will have a solution of zero. Uh, these will be graded, so give this your best shot, and good luck to you.